Hello everyone, welcome to Farm Pro Tutorial Lesson 5 on Dataset Parameter. So as we introduced the idea of parameter before, when facing massive data situation, if we use a template parameter, the process of generating data query would actually cost us a lot of time. So instead, we use dataset parameter in this situation. Open the designer, open a new report. First, we're going to create our DB query datasets. So this is a place where we're actually going to create our datasets parameter here by entering circle language, and we're going to do that later. For now, click on DS1 holding region to sales volume, drag them all the way to cell A2, and let them expanding from left to right. And also, we're going to give different column a title. So basically, the idea of creating a data size parameter is to create our parameter during the process of create uh, data sets. So in this way, when facing massive data, the data query process would happen inside the data sets. So comparatively, this would save us a lot of time for searching. All right. So next, we're going to select them all, formatting it, make it center, and also give it a frame. And also, we're going to give a background color for the, all the title. And next, don't forget to save it since it's a new template we just created. All right. So next, we're going to go back to DS1, the dataset. By clicking this little pencil, we're entering this place for the circle language. So right now, we're going to write where to lead to the following command, which is our parameter. So in here, we're going to write region first. Region is one of the data table from DS1. Next, we're going to write as this format for the parameter creation. OK, so as you can see, the format is region equals to single quotation, dollar sign, braces, the name of the parameter, closing braces, single quotation. And also, you can follow the tip below for the writing format. So next, we're going to hit on this little refresh button on the right side. As you can see, region is already stored as a parameter in the data set. So we're going to change our data type to string and also set the default value to North China. So North China is one of the data inside the data table region. And next, we're going to hit on the little pencil, entering this page for the parameter setting. Because we already created our parameter, as you can see, region is already generated as a parameter. All we have to do is hit add them all. So the next step, we're going to choose the widget as a text, for example. Hit on the preview button. As you can see, the report is already made. And everything under North China is showing. So we can change to East China to test. So by now, we have successfully created our data query report by using data set parameter. And furthermore, the widget style we choose is uh, text. As you can see, we have to type in East China. And we're going to introduce more about other widget style in the future class. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to see you next time.